Hi, my name is Collins and I am a chicken farmer. On this video today, I want to share with you how you can be able to get a potential customers that will be buying your eggs from your farm. So, if you are new in chicken farming business, especially this layers farming business, I want to share with you some tips on how you can be able to get a potential customers that will be buying your eggs that you produce in your farm from you. We are not going to be staying inside this chicken house because as you can see, it is very noisy. Like this chicken with the stratos. So I'm going to be staying here. I'll be comfortable to share with you some of these tips on how you can be able to get a potential customers in your farm. So stay to the end of this video. First of all, I want to share with you how I have been making sales since I started this my poultry journey. During the time I started this my poultry farming journey, so I didn't know who to sell my eggs to and I didn't have all the time to be carrying it around to a store owners like I was working that time because I have a job that I'm doing. So around that time, I contacted a man that is buying eggs in a big quantity and uh, those men are called middlemen. So I contacted the man and uh, the man was buying those eggs from my farm. He was buying them from my farm in a big quantity. Maybe I have like uh, 20 trays of egg. He will come and collect them and then he will now distribute those eggs to uh, store owners. And how I usually sell to this middleman is in lower price, unlike people that are buying in a small number. So my biggest mistake then was not reaching out to other farmers to know how much they are selling their own eggs. Because normally here in my area, assuming we are selling at 5,000, everybody that is selling eggs, like everybody that have farm, they will be selling at that uh, 5,000. So my mistake then was not reaching out to other farmers because I was busy with my work. I was very busy with my work, so I don't really have all the time. So I was focusing on my work. And uh, it was that middleman that usually tell me how much he is buying from other farms. Then I will now sell it to him like that. And the uh, we continued like that but fortunately to me things wasn't the same like everything the price of things kept on increasing the price of things kept on increasing every day by day so i don't really have any other option than to reach out to uh, other farmers so that i will be updated on their current prices both the price that they are selling to those middlemen or the price they are selling to shop owners so that I'll be updated because if I don't reach out to them, I won't know how much they are selling and uh, maybe I'll be dashing my own out to those middlemen or shop owners and at the end of the day, I won't make profit from selling those eggs and uh, I may even run out of business. So I have to reach out to other farmers and uh, I have all their contacts. I was calling them to know how much they were selling their own eggs. So that was how I was doing it. So I was reaching out to those farmers and they were updating me on their current prices. So assuming I don't reach out to them, maybe I may even run out of business because in any business that you are doing and you are not profiting from it, definitely you are going to run out of business. So I have to reach out to all those big, big farms to confirm how much they are selling in their farm. But to cut the story short, because I started selling to the middleman in a higher price, like other farmers used to sell to them. So he now stopped buying from me. And uh, that was where the uh, journey began because the price of things kept on increasing and uh, if I should sell in a lower price to the middleman then I won't be able to meet up with my uh, 
profit and even the money that I will be using to buy a chicken feed. So he now stopped buying from me. And then that was where the journey began because I have to find my own customers. Because all those uh, big, big farms, they already have their uh, potential customers. Instead of uh, relying on middlemen to be buying from me. So I started carrying those eggs to a uh, shop owners. I started distributing those eggs by myself. So it wasn't easy for me because you know most of those uh, shop owners they already have uh, their potential customers even people that are giving them in credit so they already have their potential customers so it wasn't easy for me finding my own customer but i have to do it because i don't have to wait for those middlemen or that kind of thing so i have to find my own potential customers that will be buying from me and the most reason why uh, those middlemen stopped buying from me was because during that period it was during rainy season and uh, the demand of eggs was very low in the market like the demand of eggs was very low to an extent that like you have to even reduce the price of eggs in order to make sales because the demand was low Everybody was trying to sell out their own eggs and then they were reducing the price of eggs even though the price of feed keep on increasing but they have to reduce the price of eggs in order to sell. So the competition was very high but the demand was very low because everybody want to sell out their eggs during that period. Like if you are into egg business you will realize that sometimes the demand in egg is very low and that sometimes the demand of eggs is very high like now the price of egg is very high and the demand of egg is very high and uh, most of the times not even the price of chicken feed that will determine the price of egg because if you should increase the price of eggs and the, the demand is not there definitely you are not going to sell out your eggs most of the times what determines the price of eggs is the demand if there is much demand or high demand in eggs then the price of eggs will be very high whether there is an increasement in price of chicken feed or not but the demand of eggs is high then the price will high but if the demand is low then the price will also be low sometimes even when the uh, demand is low but the price of a uh, chicken feed keep on increasing then we have to increase the price of eggs in order to meet up with our chicken feed because when you don't increase your price definitely you won't make profit you will just be buying only chicken feed like you won't make profit from selling eggs so you have to increase the price of eggs so that you'll be able to make profit so as i was saying during that hard time of a uh, low demand i started reaching out to uh, shop owners i started creating awareness i started selling those eggs by myself carrying it from shop to shop but during that period I was reducing the price of my eggs like before I said to them I'll reduce a little amount from the price that I usually sell to them because I usually reduce the price in a way that they will be able to buy from me and then they will also demand the eggs again so I'll reduce just a little amount from the price I usually sell to them but it is unlike that of the middleman. The price I usually reduce for that middleman is always higher. Unlike those people, unlike uh, those uh, shop owners, because I just want to be their customer. Right now, as I am speaking to you, the price of egg is very high because the demand of egg is very high. And uh, many people are now rushing to buy eggs even the eggs that I do produce in my farm is not even enough to serve them because I've created that awareness 
I've created that awareness, like I've made them customers and they, they are now buying from me. So I usually make sure that, like how I usually do it, I usually make sure that those my uh, potential customers, I usually make sure that I sell to them before I sell to every other person that are coming to buy. Especially those uh, potential customers, even now that the price of egg is very high, I usually reduce a small amount for them. I usually remove a small amount, not that uh, big, just small amount so that even during that uh, hard period or during that uh, low period of uh, demand, so that they will be able to come around and buy from me. And uh, that is how I am making sales. So I have to serve them before I serve other people. And uh, also all those people that we are not buying from me during that uh, period of low demand, whenever they come to my farm to buy eggs from me, Normally, I usually sell to them in a normal price. I don't reduce anything for them. So, and even before I serve them, I always make sure that I've served those my potential customers before I serve other uh, people that are not my potential customers. And uh, still on sale, at the end of the day, I will still have a very huge profit left with me because so far, your chicken are producing egg like in a high quantity as they are supposed to produce in your farm. Definitely, you are going to make big profit. Assuming other people are selling at a uh, five thousand, and you should sell at a uh, four thousand nine hundred and fifty to uh, your potential customers. At the end of the day, you will still be left with a huge profit. So far, your chicken are producing eggs in a high quantity as they are supposed to produce. You will still be left with a huge profit. So it is during this uh, period of high demand that you will, like all those money that you lost during the period of low demand, you will recover all of them during this period of a uh, high demand because the price of chicken feed may not even increase but if the demand is high, the uh, price of egg will also high, whether there is an increase in price of feed or not. Because normally we usually increase a uh, price of eggs whenever there is a, a price increase in their chicken feed. So during this high demand period is the time you have to recover all the money you didn't make or all the money you lose during uh, that low period of demand and always know your potential customers because during that period of egg scarcity many people will be reaching out to you to buy eggs from you but before you serve those people make sure you have served those your potential customers that are buying from you all the time during that period of egg scarcity Make sure you reach out to your potential customers. Make sure they have eggs before you sell to all those people who are not your potential customers. So it is very much all right to know your potential customers so that during that period of low demand, they will be able to come again and buy from you. Because during that period of egg scarcity and you don't treat them right, definitely they won't buy from you when there is a low demand in eggs in the market and again whenever you are starting newly always make sure you reach out to uh, different persons so that at least you will find your potential customers by reaching out to many people by creating awareness don't rely on middlemen because when you are starting newly all those middlemen definitely they will come around to buy from you but don't rely on most of them don't rely on most of them just all you do is make sure you create awareness and even before you sell to those middlemen make sure you have a high quantity of chicken assuming you don't have high quantity maybe you have a hundred chickens or 200 chickens 
make sure you do sell those eggs by yourself so that at least you'll be able to make more profits to expand your farm because selling to those middlemen in a lower price it will be reducing your profit and at the end of the day you won't have enough profit to expand your farm so always make sure you sell those eggs by yourself always make sure you have created a potential customers that will always demand those eggs and you will sell to them in a higher price unlike those middlemen so that is the best way you can be able to make sales so that you will be able to expand in your farm you know even the eggs that you will be producing in your farm when you have 100 chickens or 200 chickens it won't be enough as an it won't be enough to sustain your uh, customers so make sure you reach out to those people you will make high profits from then when you expand in your farm maybe when you expand to thousands of chicken at that period you know that like you have to sell to even middlemen and their shop owners at least during that period the eggs will be enough for everybody but during that period you have only 100 or 200 chickens make sure you sell those eggs by yourself or unless you are the type that don't always have time maybe you are working and you don't always have time or even if you can like any any type of work that you are doing i believe you must have time during the weekend so you can leave it you can leave those eggs maybe during every weekend you will now distribute it to shop owners or you can do it that way depending on the type of work you do but if the type of work you do don't give you enough time then that is a good reason for you to sell to middlemen so that have been my experience and uh, i'll keep on updating you guys about my farm so subscribe here on this channel for more poultry videos like this and uh, thank you for watching my name is collins and i am from nigeria i am a chicken farmer just in a small scale so you can subscribe here subscription is free so that you get my video whenever i upload a video thank you for watching once more and i would like to see you in my next video don't forget to like this video if you find it interesting and also tell me your own thoughts in the comment section below see you in my next video